from Loretto Abbey, home to the Sisters of Loretto since 1928, and the Loretto Abbey Secondary School. And with the kind cooperation of the Toronto Catholic District School Board, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. Welcome to the celebration of the Daily TV Mass. My name is Father Francis Salesiar. The television of this Mass is made possible by the contribution from three donors. The first are the Sisters of Holy Cross, Ontario Sector, on the anniversary of their founder, Blessed Anthony Basil Morrow, in memory of those who have gone before them in faith, the present and the future members of the family of Holy Cross, and for peace in our world. The second is an anonymous donor from Toronto, Ontario, in loving memory of Antonio Aruda and for her living and deceased family members. The third is Ada DeMarkey from Niagara Falls, Ontario, for the intentions of her family and for young people to find employment. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Dear sisters and brothers, as we are gathered to celebrate this Holy Eucharist, we are reminded through the Scripture, there are moments in our lives where we will have to face rejection where we will not be accepted as we are, but the call remains always the same, to follow our Master. We ask God's pardon and mercy for the times that we have failed to follow Jesus Christ. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, whose providence never fails in its design, keep from us we humbly beseech you, all that might harm us, and grant all that works for our good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the second book of Samuel. After the death of Saul, when David had returned from defeating the Amicalites, David remained two days in Ziklag. On the third day, a man came from Saul's camp with his clothes torn and dirt on his head. When he came to David, he fell to the ground and did obeisance. David said to him, where have you come from? He said to him, I have escaped from the camp of Israel. David said to him, how did things go? Tell me. He answered, the army fled from the battle, but also many of the army fell dead, and Saul and his son Jonathan also died. Then David took hold of his clothes and tore them, and all the men who were with him did the same. They mourned and wept and fasted until evening for Saul and for his son Jonathan and for the army of the Lord and for the house of Israel. 
because they had fallen by the sword. He said, your glory, O Israel, lies slain upon your high places. How the mighty have fallen. Saul and Jonathan, beloved and lovely, in life and in death, they were not divided. They were swifter than eagles. They were stronger than lions. O daughters of Israel, weep over Saul, who clothed you with crimson in luxury, who put ornaments of gold on your apparel. How the mighty have fallen in the midst of the battle. Jonathan lies slain upon your high places. I am distressed for you, my brother Jonathan. Greatly beloved were you to me, passing the love of women. How the mighty have fallen and the weapons of war perished. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. To you, o Lord. Jesus and the disciples went home, and the crowd came together again so that they could not even eat. When his family heard it, they went out to restrain him, for people were saying, he has gone out of his mind. The Gospel of the Lord. As communities, as societies, 
as nations, there is always a longing. This longing may be to find a cure, maybe to invent something, maybe for a peaceful and just society. This longing varies from time to time. In the first century of Judaism, people are longing for a Messiah. They're waiting for a liberator who would free them from the oppression of the Romans. It is in this scenario that we see Jesus began his ministry, become busy and not having time to rest. The reading says he is so busy that he has no time even to eat. One would think from this, his own busyness, that he would be a popular man, that the family and friends might like the popularity that he has gained. But the response of the family members is not so. They think that he is mad. He is out of his mind. In life, it is not necessary that when you stand for justice, when you stand for what is right, when you stand with the poor and the less privileged, that you would be appreciated, you would be liked. History has proven time and time again that it is not the case. From the experience that Jesus had to face in his life, we know that the followers of Christ cannot expect that we will be admired, respected, and loved in return. From the time of Jesus, almost every century, the followers of Jesus faced misunderstanding, opposition, and even verbal and physical violence. And this often happened within one's own community. Today, the fathers of Holy Cross, or the family of Holy Cross, the fathers, brothers, and sisters, celebrate the feast of their founder, Blessed Basil Moro. Basil Moro was not an exception in facing rejection and misunderstanding of the people. As a follower of Christ, he had to face what his master faced in his life. Responding to the French Revolution, he began the Congregation of Holy Cross. He had to face the ideological, political, and social problems of his life his, in his own time. His own associates thought that he was out of his mind in agreeing to send missionaries to India and the United States in 1840s and 50s. Like the family members of Jesus, the close associates may not like it, but that's what the visionaries do as their mission. And this calls for our reflection. If we call ourselves the followers of Christ, this could be our life too. We may not be liked, we may not be understood, we may not be treated well, but still, the work that is entrusted to us by Christ remains the same. To be a follower of Christ is to fulfill the mission of Christ. To be a follower of Christ is to imitate our master. To be a follower of Christ is to walk the path that he walked. This is a call for you. This is a call for me. Let us stand and pray for our own needs and the needs of the church. As we celebrate the feast of the founder of Holy Cross, let us pray for the priest, brothers and sisters of Holy Cross, that they may continue the mission of Christ in the path of their founder, Blessed Basil Morrow. We pray to the Lord. For the missionaries who continue to spread the word of God in all parts of the world, especially who are going through persecution. For their strength and perseverance, we pray to the Lord. Amen. 
We pray for all people of God that we all may work for peace, charity, and justice. We pray to the Lord. For all those in our daily TV mass audience who have asked to be remembered in our prayer intentions book, especially for those who are struggling with various sickness and for those who are in search of employments, we pray to the Lord. Lord we want you to spend a few moments praying for your own needs, raising your own heart's desires, bringing to God all that your hearts long. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Gracious and loving God, we bring before you all the prayers that we have expressed and that are deep down in our hearts, knowing and trusting that you always listen to us, your children, through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Yes. Pray, dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and your words may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed with the very mysteries we serve. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Yes. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. 
and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to your setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, and he himself took the bread, and giving thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world by pleasing, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you in your compassion, O merciful Father. Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sin. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Governed by your spirit, we pray, O Lord, those you feed with the body and blood of your Son, that professing you not just in word or in speech, but also in works and in truth, we may merit to enter the kingdom of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth in peace to love and serve one another. Yes. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass. celebrants and all of us at the Daily TV Mass, our best wishes for a restful weekend, and we'll be looking for you all again come Monday. All power seeking, drive.